We're back at Albany, site of the America East Men's Championship. The championship game will take place at the highest remaining seeds home floor. Last year, that was UMBC, and the Retrievers won the America East Championship for the first time, making it to the NCAA Tournament. Jay Green was right in the middle of everything last year, and he is back for his senior year, trying to lead this UMBC team back to the America East Championship game. But there have been some trying times for Green and his teammates this year. Everybody wants another championship, and the guys who were here last year, um, they won another one. The guys who weren't here on this team, they want to be a part of a championship team. Being my senior year, me and Darryl, uh, we'd like to go out on top like last year's seniors. I get the chills still thinking about that. Um, I've seen the tape a couple of times. Uh, every time I watch it, it just puts that taste back in your mouth. Um, makes you want to work hard and, and do it again this year. We didn't miss. Um, everything went well. Coach was happy. Um, we, we made a, our first trip to the NCAA tournament. Um, it was just one of the best days I ever had in my life. And, you know, nobody could ever take that away from us. <laughs> Excitement throughout the whole campus. I mean, I think it just changed, changed the whole, the, whole uh, the vibe on the campus. Um, you know, teachers into alumni come back, students coming up to you on campus. Everybody just wanted to be a part of it. Uh, it was just something, you know, a great experience I'll never forget. I never had a doubt. I mean, I came here to try and turn this program around, be a part of that, and um, try and start a tradition here, a new tradition, you know, a winning tradition. And um, I'm just proud that, that I was a part of this team and you know, what we accomplished last year. But, um, you know, that was last year, and we, we got a, a new year this year, and, you know, we're just excited to have that opportunity again. My job is just to be a leader out there and get people involved and make plays for other people and myself. And, and that's what I've been doing here for when I'm my fourth year. I'll do whatever it takes. You know, I understand there's going to be nights where I'm going to score more. There's nights where I'm going to be um, more of a distributor on the court. But you know, I just I just want to win at the end of the day and you know whatever it takes for me to do that. Jay Green is probably one of the quickest players. Uh, he's hard to keep in front of you. If you put your hands down, if you slack off, he's going to take a shot in your face. You know, he can get to the rim, and he creates for his teammates. Uh, for me, uh, he's the toughest player to guard. I just like to go out there and compete. Um, I like to win. I'm a winner, so um, I'll do whatever it takes to win. Um, I just bring that, that attitude here, and, and the guys, I think, feed off me on the court, off the court. Jason Green's just one. Can't get it out right now. Just one, one competitive individual. And when you have a young man like that who's just gritty and just hungry and just passionate, he becomes contagious on your basketball team uh, to the other guys, uh, to the coaches. And, you know, you just, you just love having that kid around because he's a winner. And, and if you want to describe Jason Green, that's, that's the word that I would use to describe him as a winner. I just want people to look back and say um, he worked hard as he could you know, every day in practice. Um, he just wanted to win. He, he was unselfish. Uh, I just want to be somebody who people remember in a positive way. And that is our time for now for this edition of America East on Campus. Next time around, we'll be at the site of the Women's Championship, the University of Hartford in West Hartford, Connecticut. Until then, and for our crew, I'm Eric Fried. Thanks for watching. So long from SefQ Arena at the University at Albany.